Hey guys, welcome back. BDCKR here, and we're back with our weekly recap of all things Injustice. This is for the week of February 13th, 2020. Uh, just before we get started, there's currently a petition asking the developers to update Injustice that we've linked in the description. When we checked it earlier today, it's now a little over 800 signatures, so you can go ahead and sign that if you feel like it. We're probably going to stop talking about it soon-ish, just because we've mentioned it uh, for a while now. Yeah. I think we picked up probably most of the people that we're going to pick up it's true. for mentioning it, but uh, you know. There we go. Just doing our due diligence still. Uh, getting into the content, the current challenge is Dark Side, and that is a one-week repeat. And the required characters for that are Cyborg, Catwoman, and Black Adam, who you can get at Bronze, Bronze, and Silver, respectively, at the lowest tier. Right. Uh, the passive is Empower Minions. This is the the worst Dark Side because all Bronze characters on Dark Side's team gain plus three hundred percent health and damage, and the stats are ten fifty attack and twelve hundred health. So you know medium stats. And the passive is, you know, just for bronze characters. All right, so a couple interesting things. This was actually recently available in December 2019, just like the last week's Batgirl was. So it's it's a relatively quick repeat. And way back when, I think I mentioned in December too, before we had augmentations, before there was multiplayer online, when the maximum level was 40 and the maximum promotion was Elite 5. Yeah. And... It topped out at bonus battle six. The offline play, that's as far as you could go. Mm -hmm. Dark side was a great starter card for helping you get through offline battles because he would boost up your bronze cards yeah. to be able to manage getting through the offline battles because they were strong enough to handle the higher levels. Yeah, it was for it was for single player grinding. Right. And you didn't need to have use up all your gold's energy. You could, you know, put in dark side with a bunch of bronzes as your team and maybe either do a different gold team after that or just recharge dark side yeah and use a couple of other bronzes mm -hmm. so suddenly you've got a bunch of teams it was great as a starter gold a starter challenge gold. yeah before you had too many good teams yeah and i was i my my nostalgia for dark side i mean even though he's not the good one um i remember him fondly as the first or one of the first challenge golds that i was able to farm effectively yeah. with the challenge reset. And I remember... He was the first, wasn't he? I can't remember. It was around the same time as Wonder Woman 600. Yeah. And definitely he was the first where I had the chance, like I had a weekend off, and I just... I, I was farming the I challenge. I think we should maybe go back, because I think it might have been... The first challenge reset video might have been filmed with Darkseid. It might have been. And I... The point I was making was, I think I gave myself a repetitive strain injury that took me a few weeks to recover from, because I played the challenge so many times over and over yeah just because you were like "Ooh, gotta get in while it's hot i gotta get in while it's yeah i know it, that was that it, was so. back at a time where we were sure that any day it would be patched we thought people might they might fix it yeah yeah so you know he's still good as a, a farming um option except there's so many other things to do in injustice right now that we're going to get to that it probably doesn't make as much sense because, well, well, we'll get into it soon. Mm -hmm. So this week's multiplayer award, which is one of the things that you want to be watching out for, is Blackest Night Superman. His passive is a funny one because it's got it's one of the few passives that has its own little subtitle. Yeah. So it's Necron's champion for the dead will rise. And it's Superman's special attacks do necrotic damage to the opponent causing wounds that can't heal. Blackest Night characters are immune to unblockables and gain health for every KO'd opponent. Mm-hmm. Stats are 1375 attack and 1425 health. Mm -hmm. uh, last available in August of 2019, which means that the sequence is continuing. So that's the 19th in a row uh, based off of the sequence that we right. have. Uh, and if the next week is the Cloak of Destiny, then that would be 20 in a row. Like we said, the sequence for this is a little bit less consistent right. uh, than for... So you know, No, it's more consistent. Oh, sorry, more consistent. Than the challenges. Yeah, than, yeah. The, than the challenges. But, you know, it's possible that it would get, you know, swapped up in general. Well, it has to it if we ever yeah, want to see Tanty Totem again. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's more consistent just in from experience, right? But we, we know that at some point it's probably going to break from sequence. Right. But for now, it seems like we have a relatively reliable prediction generator for right. what the next right. week is going to be. Yeah, and he's he's got good high stats. The first part of his passive is one of those that sounds better than it actually is in practice. Because the amount of necrotic damage isn't game changing. It might. It's like a small fraction of it. I, I'm guessing it's somewhere around a quarter yeah. of how much damage you do. 
it just takes too long to build up enough if you're facing someone who heals. Mm -hmm. So by the time you've done enough necrotic damage to really limit somebody, yeah. you should have knocked them out already with the amount of damage that you've mm -hmm. sp done on your specials yeah because what it what it's good for is preventing healing but the thing is when you look at the passes that prevent healing mm -hmm. they're i think pretty close to across the board better at uh stop shutting down a healing team than this right right uh they're, they're a little less broad right because this is yeah. literally any anything that would bring you back health right, right. is one right. advantage right. but for this to be as good as a healing prevention uh passive yeah you would need to probably have it be like 50 75 percent and the thing is, too, when it heals, you just heal the same amount. It's just it uh, caps your maximum. Yeah. So your healing gets you up fast. And most people don't heal up to 100% anyway. That's what I'm saying. So it would need to be a very high percent. I think yeah. it would probably need to be like 75% maybe yeah. of damage yeah. done is necrotic damage. Yeah. Now, the second part, though, that's actually the interesting part. Because immunity unblockables is really good. Mm -hmm. And as I was reminded very recently in a subreddit where I'd forgotten that this was the part of it, um, he's a good counter to the god of unblockables, which is Ares. And Aries is Aries, Aries with the the possessive Aries. Is it yeah. Aries? Aries is, I think so. Aries, because you can do it with just an apostrophe after the Aries X, right? is Godsmack. Godsmack, right? Because it's the it's not only unblockable by itself, but it'll also cause you to be unable to block if you survive it. Mm -hmm. But so so the it's good being immune to unblockables, but you can't really get too complacent because it doesn't work on the Earth two stun meaning he'll still get stunned because it's one of the stuns that doesn't um, need damage. Yeah. But it does let you block against uh, Luchador Bane and Cloak of Destiny, which both, or, and Electro Gauntlets, which have tag on, uh, tag in stun. Yeah. There's another one I can't remember now. I think it might be Batman's Cowl. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, it was one of those uh, Dawn of Justice special gears. It might have been the Wonder Woman one, too. Mm. Um and it helps against unblockable specials like uh, Arkham Knight Batgirl, Arkham Harley Quinn, who helps with all her Arkham teammates, right? Unblockable special twos. Yeah. And um, Killer Frost special two. Like, there's just so many. So it's actually really, really good. Yeah. Uh, in the store, we have uh, MKX Scorpion for 25 Canadian. It's one copy, one unlock in your store. It's probably what the next week challenge is, though. So that's our uh, best guess. For that, and it's 100,000 credits. We also have the Femme Fatale pack, which is 27 Canadian. Uh, and it comes with animated Harley Quinn, Batgirl, and Wonder Woman 600. All right, a bit of nostalgia here, too. So for 27 bucks, it's not a great pack. I remember when this was for power credits, and this was the best targeted team pack Yeah. around. Like, there is no question. Like, you could just get so far in offline play with this team. And all three characters are really good support characters in whatever team you want to rock in multiplayer online. Yeah, if it didn't cost money, it would still be a great pack. Yep. But for money, I would say no. And speaking of money... Yeah, we've got a really interesting pack yes. uh, this week, which is the Ultimate Bundle Top Teammates. And it's 135 Canadian dollars, so this is going to be a pretty penny. This is, you know, your entertainment budget for a little while. All right, what's interesting, it's that's $11.25 for each character, I think. Right? Yeah, because we can get into the characters. It comes with uh, the full Flashpoint team. So you get Flashpoint Aquaman, Flashpoint Batman, Flashpoint Deathstroke. It comes with a full Batman Ninja team. So it comes with Batman Ninja Batman, Batman Ninja Nightwing, and Batman Ninja Catwoman. Uh, it's got a Rebirth team, so Rebirth Green Arrow, Jessica Cruz, and Raven. And a uh, Suicide Squad team, which is Suicide Squad Joker Unhinged, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, and Suicide Deadshot. Suicide Squad Deadshot? Suicide Squad Deadshot, yeah. yeah. Um, so, all right, so what's interesting to me is a couple of things. All right, so the Flashpoint team, obviously, there's only three Flashpoint characters right now. So yeah. it's easy to say that these are the ones you want on the team. And it's a great team, no doubt. Uh, Batman Ninja, clearly, Batman Ninja Joker suffers. He's the one that's left out of this team. You've got two medals and one gold. Is it Batman Ninja Lord Joker? Oh, Batman Ninja Lord Joker, that's right. Their name is so long. I mean, I'm sure everybody knew what you meant, but I was... <laughs> yeah. Um... And it's clear to me, what's interesting is you get two metal characters, which is, it feels like it's a little bit better value than um, gold, except that your first copy, it's valuable. It's every other copy after that isn't going to be enough to promote them. Yeah. Uh, and Rebirth team is interesting too, because clearly they're leaning into the Rebirth thing, but potentially you could have a stronger Jessica Cruz team because she gets the benefit from... Um, other Green Lanterns. Yeah. And they're leaving out Rebirth. Is it Rebirth Wally West? It is, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. 
So there's a... It's not Rebirth the Flash, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, so it's interesting to me that... I mean, they were clearly willing to include metal characters, that they decided either that this is what they were willing to give people, or this is them saying that this is a good team, which I think seems less likely given the Suicide Squad team. Yeah. So, all right. Suicide Squad Joker unhinged to me is the worst Suicide Squad Joker. <laughs> Out of two. Well, in a, in a two person list, he is number two. Yeah, so they both have a random effect on special one, which doesn't seem like a passive. It seems like that's just a special one. Yeah. And this is the one that if he knocks somebody out. So after, let me read this. After Joker defeats an opponent team member, he drives them insane and they will fight for you with reduced health. Can be triggered twice if using a team of three Suicide Squad characters. And this is awful because you don't get their passive. Yeah. You don't get their gear. You get basically the bear character. And if you are grinding for example in um offline it's actually it just worse. totally slows you down yeah cause... it's just it's just a meat shield when you're playing at a high level if you have a suicide squad joker unhinged right yeah there's a good chance that you're playing at a pretty high level just in terms of stats right. so you don't want like somebody without any gear is basically useless yeah the regular suicide squad joker his second ability after the special one, which is not really the ability, he takes 10% less damage and deals 10% more damage for each additional Suicide Squad member in a team. So he gets at up to, and it's this team he would get, the full 20% reduced damage and 20% more damage. Yeah, which would, you know, be much better than having basically a bad meat shield that right, you right. can only trigger when you knock somebody out. Right, right. The I think the most useful... Uh, that that would ever get is actually if you're knocking out another joker killing joke joker <laughs> this is true oh yeah but you don't get the passive yeah but when you're knocking him out i think that what makes that useful is oh like, he's a meat shield yeah, right right so right, i think i think sense. the the best case scenario is joker v joker combat right in that in that case right uh in survivor we have the fourth world gear until the 26th of february 2020 phantom zone is back for two weeks and fight 62 is still broken right so last weekend's breakthrough was as expected for Sinestro, Green Arrow, and Scorpion. And next weekend should be the Joker, Nightwing, and Dark Side. Mm -hmm. uh, link in the, the description for the full list that Devlin16 put up in the subreddit. And that takes us to the current glitches. Yeah, so we have a playlist that you can reach directly the eye in the top right corner of this video or checking out the description of this video uh, or just looking at our playlist tab. And that's the best place to look for up to the moment, uh, as far as we are aware, uh, what glitches are currently working. So right. if you're ever wondering and you're in between recaps, right? If you're like, right. oh, I think maybe this stopped working, right? Check the playlist. And if we think so, yeah. we'll have put that in right. there. So the not working stuff is important to start with. There's no working glitch for credits that we'll endorse. Uh, I'm not even going to get into it. Link is in the description and in the eye. Season 6, Episode 9 of our P and Q and C and A and T we talk about it in a lot more detail. Yeah. There is no glitch for getting past multiplayer season rewards. There is no glitch that you can exploit for getting early multiplayer season rewards. Mm -hmm. And there is no glitch to get through Phantom Zone quickly. Yeah. However, there is a glitch to let you play Phantom Zone repeatedly, which is this, in a lot of ways the same glitch as the one to reset the challenge that requires Google Play Cloud Save, which we've confirmed on the current dark side. Yeah. So just remember that when you reset the progress on one, you're resetting it on the other. So don't be silly and get really far in one and then start farming the other one and wasting all the time that you've put For in. For sure. And although progress. we generally talk about Android, we do talk about iOS a little bit just for this specifically too, where in the description we have a comment from a viewer, uh, Jonathan Yang, on how to reset the challenge on an iOS device. And we've seen some people say that it works. Right, right. So you can go ahead and check that out if you're on iOS and you've been a uh, challenge reset starved right. for a while. Right. Uh, breakthrough glitch to let you play repeatedly still working. As always, there's a comment that we've cut and pasted in the description. We can't test this solution if you're having trouble because we've never had a problem. So use at your own risk. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the airplane mode slash refund glitch is still working. That's good for packs with random drops and for last laugh tickets. Doesn't work in the Phantom Zone for us because that requires an online connection. Uh, it looks like there's a way to do it for iOS, but we're not 100% sure. Right. Uh, time shifting still works in Android for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges. Just always remember, bring your countdown clock back to normal before you're done. 
Mm -hmm. And finally, in between not working and working glitches, I feel like we blitz through that faster than we normally do. Uh, we have the promotion glitch where you can promote characters that are still locked. Hasn't had the right condition since update 2.14, so it's not testable and it's not usable. Uh, and we also have, I'm, I'm sort of migrating it to here, we have the uh, getting the free energy without having to watch the video glitch because... It's not that the glitch doesn't work, it's that the button isn't there. So the conditions are technically wrong, but it, it feels a little different just because it feels like they've removed a function from the game instead of... Well, it just can't exist. Yeah. It's not, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's technically in Limbo too, but we're, we're probably not going to keep it in here the same way. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, so that's all of the content. We'd like to also give a huge thank you to everybody who supported us on Patreon. Yeah, so that's a big thank you to Console Peasant and Ed Woon, who are supporting us at the top tier, Last Word, Mohammed Albshady at the Your Message Here tier, Sean Farrell, Daniel Simonson, Aaron Mall, and Michael DeVries, who are supporting us on the credited level, and Chris Wolf and Scarlett NB at the gratitude level. Yeah, so thanks so much for your support, and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Komoda. Komoda.